here the topic to be explained is a uh, series resonance circuits series resonance first of all uh, all of you must know the resonance meaning of resonance a circuit is said to be in resonance when the applied voltage and the currents are in phase a circuit is said to be is said to be in resonance when the applied voltage applied voltage and uh, current are in phase Applied voltage and when uh, is the current? Both are in phase. Series resonance circuit. Series resonance circuit. this one is a uh, resistance inductance and uh, capacitance these three elements are connected in series this is applied voltage v is equal to vm sin uh, omega t this one is the current i first of all uh, find out the impedance of the circuit convert equivalent of the circuit is the reactance of that inductance is uh, uh, j omega l the reactance of the capacitance is 1 by j omega s this one is r j omega l 1 by j omega c when the impedance find out the impedance of the circuit between these two terminals that is a z the impedance of that circuit is the impedance the impedance of the circuit is z is equal to r plus j omega l plus 1 by j omega c these three elements are connected in series therefore impedance of the circuit is r plus j omega l Minus uh, J by omega C because here uh, numerator and denominator is multiplied with J. J into J J square minus one. That is minus J by omega C. R plus J into omega L minus one by omega C. Inductive reactance is. Uh, xl is equal to omega l capacitor reactance xc is equal to 1 by omega c z is equal to r plus j into xl minus xc the net reactance is uh, the net reactance is x the net uh, reactance the net reactance is uh, 
x that is equal to xl minus xm. Z t is equal to R plus J, R plus uh, uh, Jx. Z is equal to R plus Jx. At resonance condition, resonance means the applied voltage and the currents are in phase, in phase with each other. A circuit is said to be in resonance when the applied voltage and the currents are in phase with each other means this is the Z. Z is equal to R plus uh, Jx. This one is uh, applied voltage uh, V. Applied ca current obtained from that V is I. So the applied voltage V. In phase means the impedance must be resistive in nature. Therefore, the net reactance value is equal to zero. The resonance condition arises in arises in uh, in the series RNC circuit when the inductive reactance is equal to the capacitive reactance. The resonance. Both are in phase means the imaginary term must be equal to zero. The resonance condition arises in the series RLC circuit. The resonance condition arises in the series of the circuit when the when the net the net inductive inductive reactance is equal to is equal to the capacitive reactance capacitive reactance finally the net reactance is zero that means xl is equal to xc we know that x is equal to xl minus xc xl minus xl because uh, xl is equal to xc therefore the net reactance is zero the net uh, a reactance the net reactance is zero therefore the impedance of that uh, total impedance of that circuit is pure resistive pure resistive z is equal to r the at resonance at uh, resonance the circuit is the circuit is uh, purely resistive. Purely resistive means applied voltage and the currents are in phase with each other. The, res the resonance condition has been met. Second point here is uh, expression for frequency of resonance. Impedance is completed at resonance. The impedance of the circuit is a pure resistive. The applied voltage and uh, uh, and the current obtained from that voltage are in phase with each other. Next, the second one is uh, expression of frequency. Expression of frequency at resonance. At resonance. At resonance, the net the net reactance is zero. That means uh, the net uh, reactance, the net reactance is zero. At resonance, therefore, x is equal to zero. X is equal to zero means 
pixel minus x e is equal to zero. X l is equal to omega l. X e is equal to one by omega c is equal to zero. Let at resonance condition the angular frequency resonance frequency is uh, angular resonance frequency is replaced with omega is replaced with omega naught. Omega naught l minus one by Omega naught c is equal to zero. Omega naught l one by omega naught c. Omega naught square is equal to one by l into c. Omega naught is equal to one by root l c. This is the angular resonance frequency, but we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f naught 1 by 2 pi f naught. That means what? 2 pi. Two pi f naught is equal to one over root LC. Therefore, f naught is equal to one by two pi root over LC. This is the resonant frequency of the series resonance circuit. F naught is called as f naught is called as the A resonant frequency of the series circuit. Resonant frequency frequency of the series circuit. The unit of that frequency is a hertz. The resonant frequency is measured in hertz. In series resonant resonance means the applied voltage and currents are in phase with each other. The net reactance value is equal to zero. Z is equal to R plus J into omega L minus one by omega C. X is equal to X L minus X C. The net reactance is equal to zero means X L is equal to X C. Therefore, finally, Z is equal to R. The impedance of the circuit at resonance is purely resistive. Purely resistive means applied voltage and the currents are in phase with each other. Next one is the current. Third one is current and voltage. Current and voltage at resonance. Current and voltage at resonance. Consider series. RLC circuit, J omega L, one by J omega C. This is the series RLC circuit. The impedance is uh, Z is uh, looking. Z is equal to R plus J omega L minus J by omega C. Here, this is the Z. This one is jet. V volts are applied to this series uh, RLC circuit. V is equal to V M sine omega t. The current uh, obtained from V is I. V is I. The phase or current in C in the series RLC circuit is. The phase or current, current in the series RLC circuit is I is equal to 
V by Z. Phasor, because uh, J term is included, Z means R plus J omega L minus J by omega C. This one is uh, V by R plus J into omega L minus 1 by omega C. This is the I. But we, we want magnitude of that current. The magnitude of that current is magnitude of the current is current is magnitude means mod i mod i is equal to mod v by mod z here mod v magnitude of that one is uh, mod v is uh, uh, vm here mod z mod z means this is r plus uh, r plus j x r plus j x that is this is the z x is the net reactance this one is xl this one is xc e. xl minus xc e is uh, x therefore z is equal to r plus j x mod z is equal to square root of r square plus x square therefore vm is equal to uh, not vm the magnitude of current is 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 mod i is equal to vm by square root of r square plus x s square at resonance at uh, resonance at resonance the net, the net reactance of that uh, the net uh, reactance the net reactance of that circuit is uh, of the circuit is zero of the circuit is zero therefore mod i is equal to vm by square root of r square x is equal to zero the net reactance of the circuit is zero means x is equal to zero therefore vm by r vm by r vm by r vm by m mod di is equal to i naught that mod di is equal to i naught for uh, recognition process that i naught is the current flow through the circuit at resonance condition current flow through the circuit at resonance condition therefore mod di is equal i naught is equal to vm by vm by r at resonance condition the circuit is uh, the impedance of that circuit is resistive in nature. Uh, the current, uh, the current flow through this circuit is I naught. The voltage, this one is V m. Therefore, V r is equal to the voltage across that resistance. V r is equal to V m only. V m. V m. Because uh, this V m is the applied voltage. At resonance condition. At, at resonance condition, XL is equal to XC. The impedance of the circuit is minimum and is reduced to the resistance of the circuit. At resonance, at a, a resonance condition, at resonance condition, XL is equal to XC. The impedance, the impedance of the circuit, the impedance of the circuit is minimum and is reduces to and is reduced to the resistance of the circuit, resistance of the circuit. Therefore, Z is equal to R. At resonance condition, impedance Z is minimum. The current in the circuit is the current 
the current in the circuit in the circuit that is uh, i not is maximum i not is maximum therefore i not is equal to vm by r i not is equal to vm by r next fourth one is find out the voltage across resistor inductor and the capacitor at resonance condition find out voltage across resistor inductor and the capacitance and the capacitance capacitor at resonance at resonance okay at resonance condition prove that uh, uh, this one is the uh, impedance z is equal to z is equal to r current is i not this one is uh, vm therefore the voltage uh, across uh, resistance is uh, vr is equal to vr is equal to i not into r vr is equal to this is the voltage drop across resistance is vr vr is equal to i not into r that is vm next uh, we want to find out the voltage across inductor and capacitor at the resonance prove that the net reactance that means vl plus vc is equal to zero the total voltage vl plus across inductance and the uh, capacitors is zero at resonance at resonance we know that voltage across inductance is at resonance the current flow through the circuit suppose along with the uh, inductance and the uh, uh, capacitance is also there that means uh, j omega l 1 by j omega j omega c is also there this is the current i not i not into j omega the resonance frequency is omega is replaced with omega not omega not l we know that i not is equal to vm by r from this expression i not is equal to vm by r j omega not l and vc uh, voltage across the capacitor is i not into Minus J by omega is at resonance. Omega is replaced with omega naught. Omega naught into C. We know that I naught is equal to V M by R minus J by omega naught into C. That is equal to minus J V M by R omega naught into C. at resonance at uh, resonance 1 by omega not c is equal to omega not l therefore by using this condition is substituted here here therefore vc is equal to minus j by minus j into vm by r into 1 by omega 1 by omega c is omega not l this is the this is minus j vm by r into my uh, vm by r into j omega not l is the vl j into vm by r into omega not l omega not l is the vl the entire term is vl therefore vc Plus, VL is equal to zero. 
Vc plus VL is, is equal to zero. The net voltage across inductor and uh, capacitor combination is zero. The net voltage, the net voltage across inductor, inductor and uh, capacitor combination, capacitor combination is zero. At present, this one is the resistance. This one is inductance. This one is a capacitance. This one is a VL. This one is VC. L C. VL plus VC is equal to zero. Therefore, VR is only present. VR is present. That VR is equal to that VR is equal to VL. The current is I one. Resident current is I one. Okay. Next, fifth one is very very important. Bandwidth of series RLC circuit. Bandwidth of bandwidth of series RLC circuit. We know that uh, uh, general uh, general curve is. Uh, this one is angular frequency magnitude of uh, circuit current mod i as omega values increases the magnitude of current increases like that gradually at resonance condition that means uh, at uh, i naught mod i is equal to i naught is equal to vm by r the current is maximum Corresponding uh, frequency is uh, omega naught. After that, the magnitude current of that circuit is gradually decreases like that. Another important point here is uh, at uh, resonance, the power uh, of that circuit is P naught. The power of that circuit is P naught. Here we know that P is equal to I square R. At resonance condition, the power of, power of the circuit is uh, uh, P naught I naught square R. Next, consider half power. Half power. Half power means here P naught by two half power point P naught by two. At resonance, no doubt. The power uh, uh, into the circuit is uh, P naught. P, P is equal to I square by R. P naught is equal to I naught square into R, where I naught is the current flow through the circuit at resonance. Consider this point, R power point here. Draw the some line here. This one is uh, omega one. This one is omega two. This one is omega. Omega naught is greater than omega one. Omega two is greater than omega naught. These are the omega one and the omega two are called as half power frequencies. Omega one and the omega two are <clears throat> called as the half power half power frequencies. Half power frequencies. Half power frequencies. At omega one, you see the y-axis represents uh, magnitude, uh, the current flow through the circuit. At uh, omega one, uh, the current uh, corresponding is I one. At omega one, half power frequency, the current, uh, the current correspondence is, the current uh, correspondence is. Uh, I one at omega two at omega two at omega two half of frequency the current uh, 
correspondence. The current uh, correspondence is uh, I2. I2. Therefore, at this point, the power is uh, P naught by 2. The power is P naught by 2. Therefore, we know that uh, power relation is uh, I square R. I1 square R is equal to I2 square R is equal to the power at the upper point is uh, P naught by 2. Therefore, I1 square R is equal to P naught by 2 and uh, I2 square R is equal to P naught by 2. We know that P naught is equal to P naught is equal to I naught square by R. I naught square into R. I1 square R is equal to I naught square R by 2. And uh, I2 square R is equal to I naught square R by 2. P naught is the power uh, uh, through the circuit, power uh, developed in the circuit at resonance. This R, R cancel. Therefore, square, square cancel. Therefore, I1 square R is equal to not cancel. I1 square R is equal to the powers are not cancel. RR is cancel. I2 square I2 uh, not I2 I not square by 2. Therefore I1 is equal to I not by root 2. Similarly, R R cancel. I2 square is equal to I not square by 2. Therefore, I2 is equal to I not by root 2. At half four points, the mod I is equal to the mod I is equal to I not by root 2. This is the I not by root 2. Corresponding frequencies are omega 1 and omega 2. This is the half power point. Omega I1 is equal to I0 by 2 and I2 is equal to I0 by 2. Here mod I, magnitude of the current at a half power angular frequency is I1 and I2. I1 and I2. Okay, next, next bandwidth derivation. At a half power points, at half power point, P naught by two point, mod I is equal to I naught by root two. I naught by root two. I naught we know that I naught is equal to B M by R. I naught is equal to B M by R into root two. This is mod I. We know that uh, Z is equal to R plus uh, Jx. Mod X is equal to square root of uh, R square plus X square. Mod I is equal to Mod I is equal to Mod V by Mod Z. Mod V is uh, Vm by Mod Z means R square plus X square. Substitute mod i here, mod i is equal to Vm by square root of R square plus X square is equal to Vm by R root 2. Vm by R root 2. That means Vm, Vm cancel. Vm, Vm cancel. Therefore, root 2 into r is equal to square root of r square plus x square. Squaring on both sides here. 2 r square r square plus r square plus x square r square plus x square. Therefore, X square 
प्लस टू आर स्क्वेर माइनस हियर आर स्क्वेर प्लस एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस टू आर स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस आर स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू आर स्क्वेर निर फोर एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस आर एक्स इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस आर वेर एक्स इज नेट रिएक्टेंस इज वन बाई नॉट वन बाई वेर एक्सएल माइनस एक्सी इज इक्वल टू प्लस आर माइनस आर एट हाफ ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी द नेट रिएक्टेंस ऑफ दट सीरियस रेजिडेंट सर्क्यूट इज प्लस आर माइनस आर एट हाफ आवर फ्रीक्वेंसी एट हाफ आवर फ्रीक्वेंसी द नेट रिएक्टेंस the net reactions of the series resonant circuit is circuit is s or minus r we know that uh, here omega 1 omega not omega 2 omega 1 less than omega not Okay. At omega one, with the frequency x l is equal to omega l by x is equal one by omega c is equal to plus r minus r. At omega is equal to omega one. Omega is equal to omega one. Omega one is less than. Uh, mm, resonance frequency therefore capacitor reactance is greater than uh, inductive reactance at omega 1 because omega 1 is the lower value the capacitor reactance is very high compared to uh, inductive reactance that must be negative therefore omega 1 l minus 1 by omega 1 c is equal minus r at omega 1 omega 1 l minus 1 by Omega one c is equal to minus r. This is the equation one. At uh, at uh, omega is equal to omega two. That means here omega one is less than omega naught. Here omega two is greater than omega naught. Uh, inductive reactance omega omega two l is greater than capacitive reactance. That means one by omega two c. Therefore, the net reactance is. Uh, Is equal to resistance R. Omega two L minus one by omega two C is equal to R. This is the equation number two. Adding these two equations, adding adding one uh, plus two. Uh, After adding minus R plus R is cancelled. Omega n l minus one by omega one c plus omega two l minus one by omega two c is equal to zero. Minus r plus r cancel each other. Therefore, the common term is here l omega one plus omega two into l minus one by c. One by omega one plus one by omega two is equal to zero. Omega one plus omega two into L is equal to one by C into omega one plus omega two by omega one omega two. These two are cancelled. Finally, omega one into omega two is equal to one by 
LC. We know that omega naught is equal to one by root LC. One by root LC. Omega one into omega two is equal to one by LC means omega naught square. Omega naught square. Therefore, finally, omega naught is equal to geometric mean of two of our angular frequencies. Resonance frequency is the geometrical mean of this is the equation number three. This is resonance frequency. Geom is the geometric means of two half hour angular frequencies. Subtracting, adding completed. Next, uh, subtracting equations. Subtracting equation one from two. One from two. This is the second equation. Uh, omega 2L minus 1 by omega 3 minus omega in L plus 1 by omega 1C is equal to 2R. After uh, subtraction, subtracting equation 1 and 2, omega 2 minus uh, omega 1 into L. 1 by C, 1 by omega 1 minus 1 by omega 2 is equal to 2R. Omega 2 minus omega 1 into L plus 1 by C. Omega 2 minus omega 1 by omega 1 into omega 2 is equal to 2R. Is equal to 2R. L is the common term. Here L is common term. Therefore, omega 2 minus omega 1. Here 1 by L C. Omega 2 minus omega 1 by Omega one, omega two, that is a two R two R by L. L is the common term. Here omega one into omega two is the geometric means omega naught. Omega naught, omega naught. Therefore, omega naught is equal to. Omega naught square here. Omega one into omega two is equal to omega naught square. Therefore, W omega two minus omega one plus one by L C. Omega two minus omega one. Substitute third equation here. Omega naught square is equal to two R L by L. This one and uh, this one and cancel. Omega naught square is one. This that is a uh, two into Omega two minus the omega one is equal to two R by L. Here two two cancel. Omega two minus omega one is equal to R L. You see the this one is omega. This one is magnet I. The current is I not resonance at top of our frequency at top of our point. This one is omega naught. This one is omega one. This one is omega two. Therefore, bandwidth of that circuit is omega two minus difference between two of our angular frequencies. Omega two minus omega one is equal to R by L. This is the band uh, bandwidth of the bandwidth of the series series R L C, isn't it? Circuit. This is the bandwidth of the series RLC resonance circuit. With this, the bandwidth uh, derivation, the bandwidth derivation is completed. In this, uh, already I have explained the uh, impedance derivation, the current voltage VL plus VC is equal to zero. Voltage uh, net, the net voltage across inductance and capacitance is zero at resonance. Omega naught is equal to square root of omega one and omega two. Omega naught is equal to one by root L C. Bandwidth omega two minus omega one is equal to R by L. All these derivations are uh, completed. In part two video, uh, selectivity, quality factor, and uh, these half hour frequencies are uh, related to bandwidth. Bandwidth of the circuit.
if you like this video please subscribe the channel for further updates thank you